Your discussion of the West in Chapter 16 now draws on the experiences of settler societies in Australia, Canada, Argentina, and elsewhere. How would you assess the treatment of native peoples in these various places? Well, I think, the, of course, in every society that is colonized, there is always the question of the relation with native peoples. But I think that, uh, you know, one pattern is that the more settlers are coming in, white settlers, European settlers, etc., or settlers from the East in the United States, the more conflict there is with Native Americans. So that in places with few colonists, like many parts of Spanish America, uh, the, Native Ameri the Native population remains intact. It remains on the land, and uh, often they, they have to pay tribute, they have to pay taxes, but they're not displaced from their uh, ancestral ho land holdings. But in the places you mentioned, in, in the United States, in Australia, parts of Argentina, parts of Canada, when you get European settlers coming in, their aim is to push the natives out. It's not to trade with them, it's not to absorb them, it's to get their land. And, therefore, and if that, then you have a, a struggle which can't be compromised, really. In all those places, whether it's the Aboriginal people in Australia, the indigenous people in the Pampas of uh, Argentina, Western Canada, and of course the Western United States, all those places the natives are pushed onto reservations, there's a lot of warfare, many of them are killed, because whites just want their land. They don't want, the, it's not like they want them to work for the, the whites, the settlers. They, small family farms uh, or ranchers or people like that, uh, miners who want the land, uh, inevitably is going to mean the pushing out uh, and decimation, really, of the native population. So that is a sad pattern that seems to exist in all of what we call settler societies. Non-settler societies, well, let's say the British in India, where there are a fairly small number of British go out there as uh, colonists, and there's a vast population of Indians. The British don't try to push the Indians off their land. What they try to do is to rule over them and, in a sense, profit from, their, from the labor of, of the Indian population. But they don't say, you guys have to move off your land because we're taking your land. There's just not enough British there to make that a viable uh, policy.